Working exclusively from home is about to change for a lot of us. With Governor Whitmer setting the return to work for May 24th, people working from home are going to have to make some major adjustments. Our Sandra Ali talked to the experts about how to make going back to work as smooth as possible. Workers and employers are starting to talk about what heading back into the office will really look like. For many of you, that means maybe swapping out your sofa or your kitchen table for your old desk back in your office building. That idea is causing a lot of anxiety. A lot of uh, patients are reporting as a uh, term that's been coined re-entry anxiety. Dr. Rose Moten knows from talking to her patients, return to office anxiety is a real thing. That's extremely scary. So many individuals are just not convinced of the transparency that their employers are going to offer them once they're back into the workplace. A recent study of employees across the country finds two thirds are feeling nervous about returning back into the office, afraid for their health and overall well-being. People who've worked almost 100% remotely are feeling the most anxious about returning to the workplace. They're also afraid of potential health risks. So are they following protocol to ensure that the workplace is a safe place for them to be in? Are they following CDC guidelines? And also, will fellow co-workers, you know, be compliant with the guidelines? Danielle Phillips is vice president of Staff Bright, a local recruiting and staffing agency that works with employees in Metro Detroit and across the country. We see really large operations versus small operations trying to navigate the waters of the unknown. Experts say if you can, start your way back slowly, maybe one day a week, and work your way up from there. Know you'll be out of your comfort zone. And most of all, be patient with yourself. Until we are actually on the other side of this, we can't really just start the, the true healing process. Right now, it's about managing, it's about learning coping mechanisms that can help us in the workplace and help us, you know, just to navigate through that anxiety. If you're comfortable, talk to your boss about having some flexibility in your schedule. How do they navigate their internal schedule? But then additionally, right, we've been in a pandemic for the last 12 months, and I think there's some anxiety there. And I think we need to all approach the, the conversation with grace and understanding. Most importantly, expect to feel some separation anxiety. You may even feel homesick. Dr. Moten says that's normal. She reminds her patients our homes have been comfortable for the last year. Expect to feel less comfortable, and that's okay. It's going to take time. You know, uh, even adjustment disorder, that's a psychological diagnosis that we give individuals. I think we've all, you know, experienced that to one degree or another um, in the last year. But, yeah, patience is going to be key. Experts also say talk to your HR manager about what kind of employee assistance programs might be out there and might be available to you and try to take advantage of them whenever you can. Back to you. Last year, scholars at the University of Chicago estimated 37% of all jobs in the U.S. can be performed entirely at home.